With just weeks until the Olympics, Olympians are already getting ready to achieve their golden dreams in Rio. It is an experience an Olathe man knows all too well. New here at 10, 41 Action News anchor Jane Monreal talked with him about his Olympic journey and how he's kept his competitive spirit. After earning a spot on the high jump team for the 1996 Olympics, this K-State alum admits his competitive spirit is still there. It's just the sport that's changed. Ah, what's up, buddy? Life is different for Ed Brocksterman since his days as an Olympic athlete. We have a five-year-old and a two-year-old, so right now our uh, focus them. has been chasing them. <laughs> he is now married to Amy, who he met while they were both in track and field at K-State. Signs of his athletic days are displayed in the basement of his Olathe house. The road to the Olympics started when he first tried high jump. He was just a high school freshman. I was like, you know, I really, this was kind of fun, and so I started doing it, and by the end of the year, I was a state champion. And... An ankle injury sidelined Brockstrom in 1996, but two weeks before the trials, a special moment inspired him to pursue his Olympic dream. It, it was just awesome to see the torch come through. The torch came right through his hometown of Baileyville, Kansas. And my ankle actually started feeling better. He became the youngest male athlete lead on the track and field team that year. A new personal record of, of seven feet, six and a half inches, two inches higher than I'd ever jumped in my life. Uh, to actually make the team and finish second was amazing. The second highlight was opening ceremonies. All you saw was the lights flashing and everybody, you know, all 85,000 Americans chanting USA, USA. And he tried out for the 2000 games in Athens as well. Tore my patella tendon, I broke a bone in my foot, uh, tore my hamstring. Um, got mono, all in like a four-year period. So uh, I, tried, I tried, but I just didn't have the results that I had in 96. He says the transition from the sports world to the real world was a natural one. I think I, I was very glad to be done, but would I love to do it again? Absolutely. In Olathe, Jane Monreal, 41 Action News.